Hello there. Uh, I'm going to be painting on uh, these bugs with uh, the Copic airbrush system. It comes with an air adapter uh, and a air, uh, can of air that the uh, air adapter is uh, attached to with a, a little black hose. I opted to get a uh, airbrush hose to hook it to my pancake compressor so I wouldn't have to uh, keep replacing the cans of air. I think they last anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes depending on the size can you buy. But with the air compressor it's, uh, it's really economical. And you use these markers. This, this sketch one here, it comes uh, comes with a chisel tip that you use mostly and then also this fine tip either one could be used and you can also write with them too and you know draw on your bugs or, or mark them with uh, with a marker just like you would with the sharpie they're real easy to, uh, to use there's no cleanup other than maybe your hands if you're working somewhere where you don't want to overspray you might want to you know, protect your area with a little paper or something. Um, as I was saying before, most of the uh, when you're using it, you're using these bursts of air, and most of it's done freehand. However, if you if you want something detailed, or you don't want paint going somewhere on your bug, then you have to use masks. Um, you can use index cards something like this or uh, acetate's good you can make a mask with it um, this aluminum mesh is real good for making a scale pattern so with that uh, we'll get started something a little more colorful maybe a fire tiger a fire tiger this is fluorescent orange I'm starting with Touch it up on the middle with a little vermilion. Maybe I need to use that mask to get my stripe good. Use this mask here. center it and hold it off of my bug to get a little feathered Not as centered as I'd like it, but it'll work. Better than if I held it freehand, you know? Probably has something to do with the angle that I'm holding the brush. Try and get straight on here.
That was better. On my fire target bugs, I like uh, putting a little blue on the top edges of the back or the side edges of the back. I do that like this. Areas where it uh, overlaps the uh, chartreuse, it'll give it like a darker green color, which I kind of like. Now, let's go with a scale pattern on one of them. Nice thing about this aluminum mesh is it's pliable so you don't have to clip your uh, you know typically guys use a um, <clears throat> nylon mesh to uh, create a scale pattern and you you usually have to clip that in place to hold it on your bug with the uh, with the aluminum mesh let's test that bug before we put a mask on it seems to be dry okay what you do is you place it on and you just pinch it down and it stays in place like that Go with a little black here. Now I'm, I'm going to be covering the blue, except in between the scale, the part that the mesh is covering will not, uh, you know, will not be covered with the black. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little black back here. Come down on the sides a little bit. A little scale pattern. When we take the mesh off, you'll see that, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some barring on the side through the mesh. What I'm going to do is tape the back of the brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the back of the uh, mask so I don't get uh, paint on the front part of my uh, popper here where I'm going to be putting the eye. I'll just be getting some barring like this. Actually I might want to go like this with the, with the uh, striping.
go ahead and do uh, the other side and we'll try and match the barring. You might be better at that than I am. Let me see here. Let's see what I can do with this. scaled barring on the sides and you could darken in the back to cover the scale pattern and maybe blend in the side stripes a little bit come on you there we go now after this dries I'll go ahead and cover the face cover the sides and hit the front with a, uh, a face color Now let's just put a regular striping on this one. See if I can manage that. Actually, I don't need to put it on here because I'm going to wrap it and hold it. This is a softer Mylar. It's actually, a, I believe it's a sheet protector. stripes but that's because my mask ain't that great side like that, a little striping. And go ahead and darken the back. that. 
see about putting a vermilion colored uh, face on our fire tiger bug here. Well, I covered some techniques that I use. I hope uh, you can put some of them to use and uh, enjoy this uh, painting tool as much as I do. Uh, Pat Dunlap from Cascade sent me this original kit to try out, and I like it a lot. I wouldn't be using it if I didn't, and I uh, plan on buying some refill uh, tubes of paint of uh, marker liquid to uh, fill some of these markers, especially the black. And um, he said to mention to you that if you uh, want to order one of these systems from him, he'll give you a 10% discount and free shipping if you tell him you saw uh, this video. Good luck painting your bugs. Use whatever you have on hand to make your masks and have fun. Keep on time. Bye-bye.